Hi, my name is Julie Calza and I'm here to bring you the Ask Julie C Real Estate Show. In this episode, we're kicking off season two by going over a few things that you need to be doing to prepare to buy a home in 2017. on the back burner and keep plunging forward, right? Well, here are a few things that you need to be doing in order to prepare to buy a house. 2017 is going to be a year for the record books. We're going to see an enormous growth in the market here in the Phoenix metropolitan area, but markets near military installations all over the country are going to see huge amounts of growth. So you want to make sure you get it on the ground floor. So this year is the right time to buy. Time to get off the fence and time to hunker down. So the first thing you need to be doing to prepare to buy a home in 2017 is to make sure you're making all your monthly payments on time. This may seem straightforward and may seem like common sense, but with the holidays being as busy as they were this year, it's really easy to forget things like making that payment on January 1st for your car. So make sure you get on and do that right now. Make sure all your payments are up to date. And if you did make a mistake and miss a credit card bill, call your credit card company immediately and ask them to take that late recording off of your record. Once a certain amount of time has passed, it's very difficult for companies to change this reporting, but if you catch it early, usually they wanna keep your business and they wanna keep you happy, so they'll have no problem taking that off for you. The second thing you need to make sure you're doing to prepare to buy a home in 2017 is to speak to a realtor. Even if you're six, eight, 12 months out, you think, you wanna see where you stand. And also getting in touch with a realtor six plus months out from the actual date you're ready to move can actually give you the unique advantage of being able to see all the hurdles you may face on your credit report so that your realtor and lender have time to work together to help you get over those hurdles to make you an ideal mortgage candidate to secure you a lower interest rate. So get in touch with a realtor. You don't have to hire the first one that comes to you. Make sure you get references and recommendations for the realtor and do your own research and ask them the right questions, the ones that matter to you. Make sure that you feel comfortable with who you choose to hire because who you hire really will set the tone for your entire experience moving forward. The third and final thing I wanna go over today about what you need to do to be preparing to buy a home in 2017 is gonna seem a little unorthodox. I want you to forget everything you think you already know about the home buying process. Forget all those horror stories. So once you go back and hire that realtor, use them for your information source. That's what they're there for. They should be an open book to you and all of your questions. Let them give you sources and let them guide you through the process. And don't do yourself the disservice of taking in the information age all onto your back because most of the stuff out there is honestly just a bunch of baloney. And I know I just said a bunch of baloney, but that's the best language I can come up with for right now. So let's recap really quick. The first thing you need to do to make sure you're prepared to buy in 2017 is make sure all those payments are on time and current. If you had a hiccup, call the bank. I'm sure they'll resolve it for you as long as it's you know within a reasonable amount of time. Number two, Find a realtor, find one that you trust, find one that you feel comfortable talking to and asking questions, even if you think you're over six months out. Now is the time to look into it. And the third and final thing that you need to do to make sure you're prepared to buy in 2017 is forget all that stuff that the information you're just cramming down your throat. Once you find the right realtor, then use them as a resource to help guide you through the process and trust that they have your best interests in mind. And of course, you can always check in to the Ash Julie C. Real Estate Show. We're here to be your resource. Make sure that you go back through and watch some old episodes and refresh yourself on everything we've already gone over. 
because this year is the time to buy. 2017 is it. We're gonna see some crazy appreciation rates this year. So let's get you in and let's do what we can to work towards getting you into your first, second, or maybe third real estate investment this year. Thanks again for tuning in. Do you have any questions or suggestions for future episodes? Message them to me on Facebook or use the hashtag AskJulieC and I can sift through your questions that way. Thanks again for tuning in and we'll see you next time.